from the pages of my diary and welcome to my channel. This is Homestead Tessie's Mobile Home Living. All right, so here is the easy dough maker. Let's go ahead and see if it works. So we're gonna use the recipe on the side of it. It is for easy French bread. One and one fourth cups of water, one tablespoon of yeast, tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of salt, tablespoon of olive oil, and three cups of flour. I'm gonna put it all in here and then I'll show you how it works. So all we do is we just put it in here and then I guess we just use the crank and knead it. Now all we have to do is add the flour. All right, now let's see what happens. Okay, so this works really, really simple. If you have it sitting on a cloth, it works perfect. It doesn't slide at all. It'd be great if you live off grid. So it says to need about five minutes. I actually feel like it's kneading the dough really well. All right, everyone, I'll show you what the bread looks like when it's finished. All right, here's the bread. I added just a little bit of butter on top. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna bake it. I'm extremely happy with that easy dough maker. It is really, really cool. I'm going to be using that probably every week. I'm going to score the tops. I'm going to put some of the homemade herb butter on it. It smells amazing. All right, we're gonna cut it open and see what it looks like. All right, I know you're not supposed to cut hot bread, but I wanted to for the camera. Wow, it looks really nice. Very, very good. Let me give it a taste test, it's so hot. Mmm, oh, it smells amazing. Mmm, that is good, mm-mm. That is really, really good. Amazing, amazing bread. It was so easy with the bread dough maker, the easy bread dough. I'm going to be using that a lot. August is the time of the year for pesto. And what better way to make pesto? By freezing it in ice cube trays. Every year I make enough pesto to last me for a whole year. This is basil and our granddaughter decided to help me today in making some of this pesto sauce. Now the pesto, all we do is we blend it up and add a few secret ingredients and then we put it in ice cube trays. What do you use pesto for? Hundreds of things. I use it for making vegetables or to put on baked potatoes. Wait till you see how we can make it. All right, today we are making pesto. This is some basil, and then we're gonna put oil in it. So Sierra, you can go ahead and pour some oil. You know what pesto is for? You can put it on vegetables, on anything. And I put a little more, we're gonna, it's gonna be pretty much oil. Sunflower. Okay, that's good, we'll try that for now. Sunflower oil. Yes, that is organic yeah, sunflower neat. oil. Put all the butter in. Yes, 
It's yeah, amazing. It's, yeah, it's neat. It's upside down. Like, it's cool. And now we put them in, we put them in ice cube trays. Yeah, that's then neat. Then you add one of them to a baked potato or to peas. You add it to anything. You can add it to garlic bread. It looks now, like mom's broccoli soup. Here is the pesto cubes. They're frozen nice. We just put them in the bag. And I can use them and add them to my homemade bread. So I'll melt them and I'll put them on the homemade bread when the bread is done being baked. You can put them with vegetables, garlic bread, spaghetti, you name it. Hundreds and hundreds of ways that you can use these pesto cubes. And they are really good. You can alternate with using all kinds of herbs. And that's how you make pesto. And today we're going to review the Bantam Proofing Basket. See what's all in it. Let's open it up. So in this kit comes with all of this. So we have two different kinds of bread proofing baskets. This one is for oblong bread. So what you do is you make your bread dough and you can rise it in here and it keeps its shape. And then we have the traditional bowl shaped one. Each one comes with its own cover. Brush to put butter on it. It comes with a dough scraper, which is really good and sharp. Great quality. And also we have another kind of scraper that you can scrape for your bread dough. This one I use for all kinds of pasta. Both of them works great. You can use this to scrape out your bowl as well. And also it comes with this handy tool and this is if you want to score your bread to make it really pretty looking. And then we have a beautiful bag that you can store your bread in. This kit is everything you need to make homemade bread, everything but the bread. Take care everyone and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye everybody. Wow, that is really, really good. Perfect. Mm -mm.